Uh, that is a very good question actually. Uh, we know uh, to popularize the postal financial services market and in tandem with what it is growing world over, uh, it was very important for us to have the inputs and the market conditions and requirements of the member countries as all the member countries of UPU are not member of Postal Payment Services Agreement. So to have their requirements on board, to promote them to become members of the Postal Payment Services Agreement, then join the Postal Payment Service user groups, it's a, it's a branding, uh, uni, uh, post transfer brand and all. And to provide them uh, different kind of uh, solutions beyond the postal payment because there is a lot of challenge of fintech companies. So the UPU has to offer that kind of a solution uh, to meet their requirements. So we have to bring on all those members to uh, with their inputs to us and frame them in proposals and put the solutions which look for the future of their financial uh, services needs. So this was our biggest challenge and task to bring on them with us. We were actually, to be honest, uh, looking for uh, some more outputs in terms of the resolution proposals for future work. That was, uh, if I um, uh, if if I conclude from the point of view that uh, from budgetary support it was not up approved. Otherwise, both the uh, general nature proposals for for amending the po postal payment service agreement so that it can become really a universal nature of agreement and uh, the DOs and the, uh, the countries who are dealing with postal financial services need not sign so much of bilateral agreements. Uh, they can have a standard universally applicable remuneration system, uh, the trademark and uh, also they can fulfill the universal requirements of anti-money laundering and uh, countering uh, the terrorist activities. So those uh, fundings to be curtailed and in compliance with uh, uh, the provisions for interoperability. So all these proposals have been approved. Second proposal approved is to set up a knowledge center in UPU that is going to definitely be contributing towards uh, helping to um, developing countries, especially uh, financial services are more popular there. So. Uh, for their purpose to share best practices, knowledge sharing, do the data analysis, collect information. Though they're, 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 uh, we have to enter into partnerships now in, FS, in absence of the budgetary provisions. So that funding the UPU and the member countries to work on, whether we have from the World Bank or IMF or other UN bodies, as well as the NGOs working in uh, the financial inclusion and uh, also member countries. So with that funding, uh, we can have this kind of uh, a knowledge center working. And uh, in second part, we also approved a number of uh, amendments to the Postal Payment Services Agreement. So that is, I think, uh, I, I am almost 80 to 90 percent satisfied with the outcomes. If uh, we uh, have one uh, agreement, as I said, which can be agile, flexible and scalable, across the different continents and requirements of different countries. We are going to have that for the transitional phase for next two years. And during this period, in accordance with the resolution we have adopted on the future of legal system, that will enable us to go further deep to revise the postal payment services so that we can also include wider sector players, uh, which are uh, at present also contributing a lot uh, but they, the, the DOs have to go to them on one-to-one -one on bilateral basis. So uh, having them interconnected with the UPU system will, will, uh, will ensure a universal kind of a system where they are at par with the other DOs almost. So and having an expertise a center, pool of experts, everybody who don't know what are new fintechs and what compliances we have to make and all. So now this uh, kind of a setup, which is advisory center, can help them along and, and the countries who are leading in this area can also help them. So I think futuristically, uh, I, 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 I think if we discard last three years or four years where we have the geopolitical challenges and some corridors not working. In future, by expanding the, and diversifying and innovating the financial services with the help of the uh, approved proposals yesterday, uh, I see a bright future for postal financial services.